So let me show you how to differentiate 2 root x plus 1 squared divided by x squared. So back to the paper and pen. So let's differentiate uh, this function here. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to do a side calculation. Let's multiply out the top term. So let's expand the numerator. So in the numerator, I have 2 root x plus 1 squared. So that is the same as a 2 root x plus 1 into another 2 root x plus 1. So 2 root x times another 2 root x is 4x. 2 root x times plus 1 is 2 root x, but I'll write it as 2x to the power half. So remember, write it in the form of ax to the power of n because you'll be differentiating later on. 1 times 2 root x is 2 root x or 2x to the half. And 1 times 1 is 1. So if I simplify from this point forward, I'll have 4x, 2x to the half plus another 2x to the half is 4x to the power half plus the 1 at the end. So this is what you should have when you expand the numerator. So if I follow through, so now we have a fraction. So we have 2 root x plus 1 squared divided by x squared. So divided by the x squared below. So in order to handle your fraction, what you need to do is divide each of these terms in your numerator by the term in your denominator. So we need to divide 4x by the term in the denominator, which is x squared. We need to divide the plus 4x to the half by the term in the denominator x squared also. We also divide the plus 1 at the end by the term in the denominator x squared. So you need to divide each of the terms in your numerator by the denominator term. So we need to simplify each term individually. So I can cancel this x with one of the x's below to give us 4 over x, which is the same as 4x to the minus 1, plus the 4. Now remember one of the rules of indices, when I divide two terms of the same base, we subtract powers. So remember in the indices video that I did, if we have x to the a divided by x to the power b, that is the same as x to the power a minus b. So when we're dividing two terms of the same base, we subtract the powers. So we need to do top power minus bottom power. So x to the power half minus 2 will be x to the power minus 3 over 2. Plus, so plus. And remember, another rule in indices, if you have 1 over x to the n, that is the same as x to the power minus n. So with regards to the final term 1 over x squared, that is the same as x to the power minus 2. So this should be the simplified y. So I could rewrite our question as y is equal to 4x to the minus 1 plus 4x to the power minus 3 over 2 plus x to the power minus 2. So now we're in a position to work out the gradient function. So dy by dx will be. So since we've got a summation of terms, we can differentiate each term separately. So for the first one, so if I multiply by the power, minus 1 times 4 is minus 4. And if I subtract 1 from the power, minus 1 minus 1 is minus 2. How about for the second term? So if I multiply by the power, minus 3 over 2 times 4 is minus 6. And if I subtract 1 from the power, minus 3 over 2 minus 1 is minus 5 over 2. And finally, that last term, when I multiply by the power, minus 2 times plus 1 is minus 2. 
when I subtract 1 from the power, minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. So I could rewrite the answer as dy by dx. So for, for the first term, I could rewrite it as minus 4 over x squared minus the 6 x to the power minus 5 over 2 is the same as 1 over the square root x to the 5 and minus 2 x to the power minus 3 is the same as minus 2 over x cubed so this should be the solution to part d so we have another fraction to differentiate so part e reads y is equal to 3 root x plus 2 squared divided by x. So let's use our knowledge gained from solving part d to differentiate part e. So let's differentiate that function. So back to the paper and pen. So we have this function to differentiate. So remember the idea. So I'm going to do a side calculation. If I refer to the last example, first I expanded the top term. So let's expand the top term as a side calculation first. So back to the current example. So I have 3 root x plus 2 squared. So we're multiplying a 3 root x plus 2 by another 3 root x plus 2. So let's continue. So 3 root x times another 3 root x is 9x. 3 root x times plus 2 is plus 6 root x or 6x to the half. So remember, write your terms in the form of ax to the power n. And 2 times 3 root x is 6 root x or 6x to the power half and 2 times the 2 is 4. So if I add the like terms I'll have 9x 6x to the half plus another 6x to the half is 12x to the half plus the 4 at the end. So this is what you should have when you expand the numerator so now we have a fraction to simplify. So our fraction currently reads 3 root x plus the 2 squared divided by x. So divided by x. So if we refer to the last example, so the idea now is to divide each of the terms in your expanded numerator by the denominator term. So Let's follow through with this example. So now I need to divide each of these terms by our denominator term, which is x. So I divide 9x by x plus, I also divide 12x to the power half by x. Plus again, I also divide the four by x. So let's simplify each of these terms. So these two x's can go to give us 9 for the first term plus and remember this rule that we've seen in the indices video whenever we divide we do the top minus the bottom power okay so it's top power minus bottom power whenever we divide two terms with the same base so back to the current example so I have a plus 12 but x to the power half divided by x to the power 1 is the same as x to the power half minus 1, which is minus half. Plus, so plus, so we're adding the 4. And remember another rule in indices, 1 over x to the n is x to the minus n. So if we go to the current example, that implies 1 over x is the same as x to the minus 1. So this is the simplified y. So let's copy that down. So y is 9 plus 12 x to the power minus half plus a 4 
x to the power minus 1. So let's work out this gradient function dy over dx. So remember when I differentiate a constant the answer is 0. When I differentiate the second term so multiply by the power so the power being minus half. Minus half times 12 is minus 6 so it's a minus 6x. Then subtract 1 from the power minus half minus 1 minus 3 over 2 and for this term here multiply by the power minus 1 times 4 is minus 4 so it's a minus 4x then subtract 1 from the power minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 so I could rewrite our answer as so for the first term minus 6 x to the minus 3 over 2 is the same as 1 over the square root of x cubed minus the 4 and x to the power minus 2 is the same as 1 over x squared. So this should be the solution to part E. So that completes that example and that also sadly ends the video. So I hope you found this video helpful. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, a like is very much appreciated and I hope to see you again. Thank you.